The acting chief judge of Adama has said that at the heat of COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, a total of 100,000 cases were entertained by courts in the state, including area courts, magistrates and high courts. According to him, the court made frantic efforts to ensure that innocent citizens were not kept in prison during the pandemic. He noted that in the year under review, the court also generated into government coffers a total of six million naira. Take a listen. Speaking at an elaborate education to mark the commencement of the 2021-2022 new legal year, Justice Nathan said a total of 100,000 cases comprising of civil, criminal and appeals were registered by the area courts, upper area courts, magistrate courts and high courts. Out of the 100,000 index cases, 70,000 cases were disposed by the various courts mentioned above. The judiciary is the last, in the last year was able to generate and pay to the government a total sum of 6 million naira as its IGR. He promised to keep on the good work of changing the narrative of the judiciary in the state and improve the welfare of judicial staff. Some of the incentives I shall make operational are as follows. One, medical bills. Kitato, now the payment of medical bills for judicial staff was stopped. However, I have restored the payment of such and it is operational as we speak. A committee to that event has been set up, headed by the director, DCR personnel of High Court, with other four members. The governor, represented by his deputy, promised that the executive will continue to work with the judiciary to strengthen democracy. Let me commend you for the reforms and creation of additional upper area courts. I believe it will hasten justice for all. The issue of welfare for the judicial staff remains uppermost in every step taken by this government. Those, this administration will continue to enhance the welfare of the judicial officers under our, your watch. So in turn, you ensure that under your leadership, justice is not for sale, to the highest bidder. In his goodwill message, the chairman of Nigerian Bar Association, Yola Jimita, thanked the governor for approving and allocating a land and another structure for the state MBA, which ended the accommodation challenges faced by the association. Let me use this opportunity to thank His Excellency for the many things he has done and he is still doing to the judiciary in Adama State. I want on behalf of our members to thank you for the quick assent on the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Bill, which is now a law in the state. This is by no means an instrument that will curb violence against women, children, and the vulnerable in our society. The messages from the religious bodies will go a long way in the minds of lawyers and justice in Adamawa State to administer justice with the fear of God. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.